Oh, here we go to 2014. Uh, Open all the records and Raiders receiving wise. Uh, pretty close to making it to the Hall of Fame. I kind of think he should have been a first ballot player. Uh, I mean, his heyday. Man, I mean, Rice was good, but Tim Brown was good, too. Tim Brown was right there with Jerry Rice. I saw them both playing here in the Bay Area. Tim Brown came out of Notre Dame. He returned punts and stuff. Um, he just didn't win all the Super Bowls. I mean, look who he had throwing him the ball. Marinovich and all these turds. And then when he got old, he had uh, Gannon. You know, he had a couple looks at it. Um, Tim Brown, though, I remember seeing him. He was, he was one of the great. So, I'm looking at uh, McFarland Series 8 here. This is a regular figure. Right there. And, uh, Chris Carter recently made it in over Tim Brown. And I think sometimes making it to the Hall of Fame has something to do with, you know, if you're a TV commentator, announcer, all this kind of stuff, how well known you are, you know, because, uh, I mean, Tim Brown's not as famous as like Chris Carter on a national scale, but to me, he was a better receiver. Now, I looked at the numbers. Carter's numbers may be slightly better, but again, uh, I mean, this guy had nobody thrown on the ball, Tim Brown did he put up huge numbers, so, the longest time, the Raiders, you go see the Raiders, it was a Tim Brown shot, they ran him all over the place, so. um, anyway, this is the McFarland variant here, right jersey, Tim Brown, We don't have a tape manning in that series yet. I mean, sometimes you have so many of one guy. Uh, I need another tape manning. So, Tim Brown, Oakland Raiders, wide receiver, kick returner. At the very least, a punt returner. Uh, I remember him being pretty good at both. One of the highest men at uh, Notre Dame. So, there you go, BarryToys.net. Give you my opinion on Tim Brown. I think he should be a Hall of Famer. And, uh,